that 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 all of that is not from God. You're feeling that we we must be bold. We're bold. If you're feeling any fear or anything, you're blocking the Holy Spirit from flowing and that person getting healed. If you're a believer, you're 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 open and everything to allow that Holy Spirit to flow and they're a believer, then that's that's the that's um, for that, let that Holy Spirit flow and let that person get up out of that wheelchair and walk. And if they don't, if they don't, well, then not saying that they never will and not saying whatever, we don't know everything. But to not go ahead and, 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 and cast out those demons and things like that and leave people sick and, and, and in the wheelchair and leaving church worse than when they came or they have to leave because they're feeling bad then we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're not doing the will of the Lord. And so, you know, these things were done away with at the cross when Jesus died and he rose. So right now we don't accept our salvation. It's it's here for us, but if we don't accept it, if we don't accept the, 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 the package that we have, by allowing Jesus Christ to come into our lives as our Lord and Savior and begin the process to be saved and, and baptized and in fellowship and everything, if we don't allow that, then we don't have the salvation. We don't have the eternal life. We don't have the, the, the package because we haven't accepted it. And right now, if you would like to accept Jesus Christ, I don't want to get off the line if there's anyone who wants to dedicate themselves or rededicate themselves, right now you can repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask to my life as my Lord and as my Savior, and I will serve you for the rest of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Congratulations if you said that for the first time or you rededicated yourself. Pray, pray, pray. If you don't already, um, find someone. Uh, uh, pray to God to, to um, show you a place to go to worship, to grow in knowledge, and to go on from here. And, and the steps to take, um, if you do have a place of worship, uh, follow up with your place of worship. And if there's water baptism, there are things that you must do to grow and learn in everything, the scriptures. And stay close to God and pray, 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 and read your Bible. Congratulations, you all. There's always joy in the heavens when someone turns their life over to Christ, to Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So I just want to thank you all for tuning in. I just wanted to put that out there um, because we we must, we must, ladies and gentlemen, we must not be afraid, not be afraid. All of us, we have to be bold. Jesus was persecuted. Things are going to happen, yes, but we have to be bold and, and come to church every day to just sit, sit, sit. We need to just get out and do more in the community, the missionary work. There are people that we still need to reach. And you must look at it. If your church closed down today, be closed on with the neighborhood miss it, you know, what what kind of value are you bringing to the neighborhood? Now, just think if that one person stage three cancer got cured. Just think how that's going to spread around to the neighborhoods and everything like that and everything. The things that you need and in, in, um, churches struggling financially and everything, I mean, just start letting the Holy Spirit just flow and just do the things that um, you are supposed to do in obedience to the Lord. And 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 those demons and everything, yeah, they come to church, but cast them out of there. Cast them out of there, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers and sisters, I love you, and I want to thank you uh, for tuning in and follow me um, on um, um, glendacoker.com and my social media sites and stay tuned because uh, I have a lot uh, more coming and videos and things like that. But I do have um, books, T-shirts, and so forth like that. Um, so just stay 
stay tuned and you can always somewhere um get in touch with me um email phone numbers all of that and um follow me here on um blog talk radio as well so right now thank you for tuning in and i am going to end now in prayer and any questions or comments or anything that you have um just go on over to www.praiseandprayer.org praise and prayer dot org um bow your heads heavenly father in the name of jesus i come to you father i thank you for today thank you for today father god thank you for your words thank you for sending jesus christ father god as our lord and our savior father god i thank you for the brothers and sisters that accepted their life today um for the first time or rededicated themselves Father God, I pray that um, the word goes out more and more as we brothers and sisters down here, that we spread it out to others doing the missionary work. And I pray that they, you know, reaching more and more people out there in the neighborhoods and beyond. And I know, Father God, that we still have more people, more people to reach and, and, and do your word. And we love you, Father God, and we thank you for your grace and your mercy, your mercy. So I just pray for the brothers and sisters here and beyond to just stay together, get together, and reach out more, reach out more, and, and tell other people. And I pray that we also um, stick together and uplift each other as well. We thank you, Father, for this day. We love you, Father. We thank you for these times in our lives that we come together Father God, to gain knowledge in, in the words and everything. And we know, Father God, that we trust you with everything that we have. And we know we can't put one foot in front of the other without you leading us and guiding us in every single thing that we do. So we just thank you, Father. We thank you for our lives. We thank you, Father, um, for our salvation. And we love you. We love you, Jehovah Jireh our provider. Thank you, Father God. I love you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.